Okay, all you have to do is show confidence and they will react and fall in line. We, we can do this. We can do this. Gentlemen, hello. I am Great Canadian Thief. I come to take your money tree. Who will help me uproot it and put it in the back of my van? I have a very long trip ahead of me. I took a train here. Don't ask how. Are you just going to ignore me? I will not be ignored. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And for today's episode, it looks like the workshop is up and running again. So we're gonna be returning to some workshop levels and heading to Russia? Now I know what you guys are probably thinking. Why is that table shuffling across the train? That should really be bolted down. That's not safe. Also, you might be thinking, why are we going to Russia? on a train from Canada, nonetheless. And I'll explain all in good time, but right now I need to get past and I need to go find my way to my seat. I need to find my way to a seat because I don't actually have a ticket. What's everybody staring at me for? I think they know that I don't have a ticket? Uh, okay, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just go hang out in the caboose. I feel like that's probably the best idea, right? I, uh... Like hanging out in the caboose. That is not an innuendo and we are locked in here. So I'm just gonna have to go find a seat somewhere else. Listen, just just don't tell the conductor, okay? Snitches get stitches, I'm looking at you. Excuse me, sir, can I, oh. I see that your pet basketball is sitting there. Okay, I'll, I'll just keep moving. You know what, that's cool, ooh. Here we go, we got the bar cart. Um, Darts on a train? Probably not the best idea, especially with people sitting around. I mean, the furniture is not even bolted down. This place is a disaster. Russian trains, man, I'm telling you. It's just not safe. Whoa, whoa, uh, you, you drop this. You're welcome. Uh, employees only? What are we, oh. We have a DJ conductor. What does the red button do? I mean, I'm, oh, 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 I'm pretty sure, oh, oh, I got the power. I got, okay, good, good. Now, now we just need to finish him off. And then, what is he trying to do? Oh, he, uh, he took a button off the console. That is probably not good for the train. I'm not letting you kick me off. I have important places to be. There is a heist going down in Russia. I need to be there. I need to be there on time. Probably should have taken a plane, but you know what? I felt like doing it the old timey way. I'm not turning the lights back on either. I'm just gonna pummel you to death, ow. Okay, you know what, the button kinda hurts. I'm not gonna lie. What is, there we go, now we're talking. Can I just, <laughs> lights on. Oh, uh, you know what, lights off. Everybody remain calm. Conductor Puddle still has everything under control. You might wanna find your seat, sir. And uh, you know what, I'm gonna take your basketball. This is coming with me. And then I'm gonna start a fight with it. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> I didn't expect the entire train to be up in arms about the basketball pet. I'm gonna go back to the front of the train where hopefully it's a little bit less aggressive. Imagine fighting in the dark is probably gonna be pretty difficult. Like this guy can't even figure out how to get around that table. So let's just turn on the lights. There we go. Are you guys doing better? I'm just gonna sit in here sipping my martini. Where, where'd you get a taser on a train? I think the taser guy is eyeballing me. He's kind of twitching out over there, but he seems pretty intent. Yeah, what are you looking at? You want a piece? Cause I can give you a piece. Actually, I'm gonna take this and then, oh, I see how it is. No, don't flip that table. No, no, that's really rude. There we go. Okay, anybody else want some? The train's still moving. I got at least uh, 37 hours before we get there. Come to think of it, I don't even know where we are. Like we could be in the Russian countryside or we could be up Cookie Monster's butthole. It's just nothing but blue. How about we quiet things down a little? I'm just gonna poke people with, okay. Yep, you know what that, oh, not what I expected. Whoa, nice kick. Do trains have janitors? Because I feel bad for the train janitor if that's the case. This is not gonna be easy to clean up, especially because I am making it worse. Look at that guy's afro. It's never gonna be the same. I'm just gonna, eh. There we go. There aren't too many weapons in a train. Go figure. It's like they don't want. <laughs> it's like they don't want people running around with them. Um. Yeah. You guys are just gonna have to. No. No. I am really close to dying right now. Don't you try to hit me with a stack of money. Found a shotgun. Didn't find any ammo. So I guess this is how we're gonna end up using it. 
Not exactly the weapon I was looking for on a train, but beggars can't be choosers. Get down from there, sir. You know what, you're, you're making a mess. Get down. There we go. Oh, come on, on the bottles. I'm slowly but surely making my way to the back of the tra- Oh my god, really? It's just, oh, you know what? We need to berserk here. We need to get through the crowd. Excuse me. Ooh, you're a tough one. What? Were you a boss or something like that? Where we go? Took four hits. Yeah, you see, that's how it's supposed to be. Just a single hit, just a love tap. Not a big deal to have your head explode in immediate little cubes. <laughs> I am not gonna get through everybody. There are too many of them. Oh my God, okay. Can you please just go bowl through them? What a mess, what now? It's getting more and more, no! Oh my God, I was gonna say, it's getting more and more challenging to figure out who is and isn't alive because the bodies are stacked up like four high in the hallway. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not dead, I'm just unconscious. The train is still moving. We'll be to our destination in no time. I'm just now realizing that I got so caught up with finding my seat and murder that I haven't even explained what we're doing. So we're on our way to Russia because I actually got a letter in the mail with nothing but Welcome to Thief Adventure Part 1 Museum Heist written in Russian. So I've come to the location um, in a vehicle because clearly I needed to drive from the train station. I'm gonna take my wheel with me just in case. And there should be some kind of very expensive museum around here. What does this say? Uh, museum. Found it. Are you Igor? Did you send me the letter? Am I here to meet you? Not gonna say, oh, you're just gonna sit there and drink, huh? Okay. I mean, an Igor drinking wouldn't be particularly out of the ordinary in Russia, we'll say, whoa. Okay, so this is the museum. We have the large axe man, then some kind of medieval knight, maybe? Hmm, oh, I'm gonna guess that the expensive stuff is back there and I'm not allowed to go anywhere near it, huh? Yeah, we'll see about that. I always did have a hard time deciphering the difference between expensive modern art and random garbage. I think this one is titled Light Bright, Light Bright, Make things with light. It looks like random garbage to me, so I think I'm gonna leave it and, uh, whoa. That looks kind of expensive. You just have money sitting here for anybody to touch? You just take it all. Now I'm really curious what they've got hidden behind the guards. It's gotta be something crazy expensive, right? Oh yeah, that's another modern masterpiece over there. Made in MS Paint in 1997, what a, ooh. Okay, a little bit of money going on in there as well, but no guards, which has me concerned, and a pooper. Okay, so you guys aren't guarding the money. You're not guarding the pooper. So what's back there? Oh, you guys have bats? That's not fun. I don't suppose I can just squeeze. Woo, okay, hold on, we can swing the door open. I can take a peek between your legs. Oh, there's another money face back there. That's probably the real one. They probably have a fake one out on display. That is just flies in the face of art. Oh yeah, look, they got the real light bright back there as well. Bet you that thing is worth a crap ton of money. Let me through, let me through. I, I bet you I can get back here. I can weasel my way in. Just you wait, I'm a master thief, sir. Starting to think this might not work. So how about there? There we go, okay, I'm in. Uh, oh, look at that, we have the original ax for the ax guy. And then, uh, excuse me, oh, okay, you're, you're a bit of a tough one. Oh, they're making stuff back here. You guys can't make art in a museum that's cheating and you can't have your hat float either. Uh, we have a safe, uh, Jimi Hendrix guitar. That was probably very expensive, but uh, it, it's a great battle axe. I, I gotta get something before I get out of here, right? What was I supposed to steal? Why am I in Russia right now? Nothing quite like beating people to death with modern art. I mean, if anything, who's to say that this isn't modern art? I call this room the release of rage. I think it's done, right? My masterpiece is complete. I came here a thief, but I left an artist. So, unless there's, no, the museum's empty. Okay, I'm just gonna close the doors because I'm gonna wanna charge admission to get in there, right? Probably a good uh, 20, 30 rubles, whatever they charge in Russia. And then uh, everybody out here is doing fine. 
Excuse me, gentlemen. Sorry to bother your meal of uh, raw meat and vodka. I, I was just wondering if you guys want to come over and uh, see my new exhibit. It's called Light Bright, Light Bright, Extinguish Your Rage Within the Night. No? Admittance is free if you get in early. No? Okay, well that's cool, then screw me, I guess. I I'm going back to being a thief. The irony is, if you don't want to see my masterpiece, you'll become a part of it. So let's see if anybody else wants to, um... What? Oh, he's on a basketball net. I thought he was up in a tree. What are you doing up there? This, that doesn't make any sense. Do you want to come to, oh, screw it. There we go, um, um, did he, whoa, okay. He just caught my knife. I don't know what kind of Superman he was. Uh, no, no, I don't want to ball. I'm, I'm not big for baller. Where'd the guy with the battle ax come from? He was just wandering down the road and uh, now he's taking no prisoners. Are you really gonna finish off that guy when, oh, okay. Um, I don't think I really want to screw with him. How about we go over to this building, whatever this is. Oh, it's just a meat locker. Yeah, a typical old Soviet Russia meat locker, not a big deal. And then, oh my God, there's so many people here. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. We've got some kind of weird hillbilly farm where he's growing bottles and oranges and apples and money. Was this what I was sent here to steal? Money tree, like you could literally grow money on trees. That'd be dope, who lives here? I don't suppose I'm gonna have to murder him. Here we go. Eh, eh, now my money tree. It doesn't make any sense though. How am I supposed to get a money tree in the back of a truck, especially past all of these guys? <laughs> I'm gonna have to clear out the entire place. This is not gonna go well. I don't wanna end up in Russian prison. Oh God, just, yeah, everybody just stay down. Okay, you, you stay down, stay down. Okay. All you have to do is show confidence and they will react and fall in line. We, we can do this, we can do this. Gentlemen, hello, I am Great Canadian Thief. I come to take your money tree. Who will help me uproot it and put it in the back of my van? I have a very long trip ahead of me. I took a train here, don't ask how. Are you just gonna ignore me? I will not be ignored. Huh? Oh, whoa, okay, yeah. Don't all volunteer at once now. All right, you know what? I don't think they really want to help me all that much, so we're just gonna get rid of the weaklings first, and then we're gonna take down the, ow! Hmm, that is just not even kind of fair. Do you guys remember when I said I really don't want to go to Russian prison? Well, fortunately for us, I didn't. I went to a gulag instead which is technically a Russian labor camp. So I've got my ax and I've got my log and I've got about a thousand miles of frozen Siberian wilderness between me and civilization. Great. Taking a piss break, boss. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna head over to the piss cabin and whoa. What do we have going on over here? It looks like Boris has himself a guard by the neck. All right. You keep doing you. You know what? I'm gonna keep an eye out, all right? I'm gonna look around. You just get the information, get the keys, get, uh, whoa, okay. Um, you know what? The tides have been turned in the piss camp. I'm just gonna move over here then. Uh, oh, what? What the? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a weird artifacting in the sky and it looks like lights to me. I thought they had searchlights going. Okay, we got some people sleeping in here. Okay, just got some talking going on over here. I need to find. Like a means of escape, is this, oh, um. You know what, I can take my piss break later. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen somebody using the bathroom in this game with clothes on. Bit of a strange place for this to be the first, but sure, why not? Okay, dinner's almost ready. And uh, just putting up a employees only sign, huh? So what's going on in here? Got people on uh, Windows 3.1 by the looks of it. Oh yeah, that's not ominous at all. Uh, oh, here we go. That's a 12 gauge key to freedom if I've ever seen one. So that's gonna be the plan. These two look a little bit over the hill. I can probably take them, but I wanna get a good look around first. These walls are, like, I'm not getting over them with a shotgun, I'll put it that way. So what do we have going on in the guard tower? It's a little bit laggy, bit of a large camp. Um, we have guards observing people in the guard tower. Shocking, I know. 
Is this locked? Can I get, oh, uh, it's not very effectively locked. <laughs> we have uh, somebody being interrogated. Some weapons in there, okay, good to know. And then we have the entrance, or in my case, the exit. And a truck being loaded up, oh yeah, look, labor camp. They're profiting off of us, so we're gonna load up all of our wares and they're all gonna be sold by, I don't know, Nike or something like that. And then, I'm just gonna shovel out all the snow. Yeah, they didn't get the smartest people to shovel, but you know what, it's all you can really do. So I'm gonna guess you guys aren't gonna just let me run for it. Nah, that's the face of you're not allowed to run for it. All right, I think I would like my key now. Still just taking a piss break, boss. Really long piss, very large, loaded, buckshot piss. So, oh, okay, well, I think we've gone and done it now. I don't think I have much of a choice. Uh, are we good? I don't know if you're dead. He's probably dead. Hey, 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 whoa. Wait, are you a friend? He just came in here, finished off the guard, and ran off. Oh my god, they might actually be on my side. It's got, why would it have one shot? Are we cool, man? I think we're cool. Okay, you guys go get armor and weapons and whatever it takes. We're taking over this prison, boys. I had a good piss, boss. Thanks for asking. Oh my god, it is so laggy. There's so much mayhem going on and I'm just gonna slowly but surely make my way to the front gate. Why would they not put this place on lockdown? I'm outside right now. There's nothing, there's nothing here. I'm gonna have to take the truck or something. There's no way I'm getting across this on foot. This is why it's a gulag, you can't just escape. You get over the walls and then what? You'll freeze to death. Do right, you guys got a better plan? You look like you want a piece of me. So, uh, uh, ow, I'll oblige. That's cool. I mean, we were in it together, but I guess not anymore. It's fine. There's probably only a couple of seats left in the truck, right? And they're not gonna be going to you guys. I want the one with the butt warmer and the other one, and this guy is gonna get beaten down. Ow, ow. Okay, lag. Here, you get him. Get him. Fine, don't get him. I would like to finish at least one level in this episode, even though it's incredibly laggy and kinda difficult. <laughs> I tend not to replay them because I'm not doing this to succeed. Like, I know it triggers some people. They'll see me only get like 50 of 70 enemies and then I won't play it again because I guess if I don't complete it, then it's a big deal. But to me, I really could not care less. <laughs> I'm only playing the game for the laughs and for the head explosions. That was pretty good. So you're my friend. I'm sorry I made fun of you for shoveling awkwardly earlier. Uh, yeah, there's two seats in the truck and I'm gonna be getting the one with the butt warmer. We've already agreed on this, right? You look pretty formidable with that shovel, I'm not gonna lie. So let's just take out the rest of these idiots and then we're gonna be home in time for goulash. I lost my friend, I lost my friend, I, oh, come on. Okay, I will try again. Don't do it, Ted. We were ax chopping buddies. We could have been in it together. Oh, and you got Fred killed too. That's entirely your fault. You know what, I'm gonna blame you. You should have just let them go for a piss break. I managed to find my friend again, ow, and I'm getting wooled by the guards. Oh, I didn't mean to kick him onto you. Sorry, friendo. Let's just get through this together. Okay, I got Smite. Smite is a good start. There we go, that's the stuff. You want a piece, do ya? I got a finger gun for ya. Back from where I come from, usually you would pull this and then someone would fart and it would be hilarious. <laughs> I don't even know if pull my finger is a Russian thing or not. It, it could be. Russians fart, right? It's so laggy, you don't even have a body. Okay, there, well, yeah, you see, they just fall apart right in front of you. Hey, 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 I thought he turned on me for a second. Where, where are we going? There's eight left. So we got three over there. We got two guys over here. Yeah, let's just chop them up. Just gonna give them the old chops. Whoa, whoa, you're not gonna chop me, I'm gonna chop you. Six left, yes, we're moving together as a team. I can't believe this, I actually have a competent friend in this game. Oh, we're gonna get them while I sleep. Oh no, these are the two that were discussing things. Discussing weird things. Discussing things about, uh, uh, oh god, they're dead. No, it doesn't even matter anymore. I'm not even gonna discuss the weird things that they were discussing. Ah, uh, three left? It's just you three, right? Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna feel good. Two left, one left. Boop, guess who's getting the warm seat in the truck? Or not. 
I kind of assumed that we would want to get in this and drive away, but it looks like I would prefer to wander out into the wilderness and freeze to death. I'm starting to think that I feel a little bit guilty for what I've done, for my masterpiece, for what I did at the Gulag, for all of it. Just take me, wilderness! I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed me returning to weird Paint the Town Red workshop stories. I love doing them. I just need levels that kind of fit together, and when I went on the workshop and started downloading some of the best stuff on the workshop over the past few weeks, all of these levels just flowed together, and I instantly came up with this stupid Russian gulag story. So if you guys want to see more like this, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video, let me know, and I'll return for more Paint the Town Red eventually. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.